That's Nick. And that's Joseph. And today we're here to run down my top 10 favorite films from the 2019 Toronto International Film Festival, where I attended for IonCinema.com, where you can go for further coverage. So your number four film is Uncut Gems, which stars Adam Sandler. Yes, sir. It's so sure I'm, does. this better be good. Uh, well, it's directed by uh, the Safdie brothers, Ben, Josh, and Benny Safdie. Uh, who I haven't seen the first film, Daddy Long Legs, but uh, I've been a fan since Heaven Knows What from 2014. Uh, good Times, which or is a good time, <laughs> played at Cannes in 2017 with Robert Pattinson. We had that awful dyed blonde hair. Did you watch that? The only good times I know stars Esther Roll and Janet Jackson. No, not that good. Oh. No, that's why it's good time. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, yes, yeah, so Uncut Gems is, uh, yeah, it stars Adam Sandler, who can do. You know, he's very good in Punch Trump Love, which... Have uh, I seen that? Paul Thomas Anderson, you should have, I but know. I guess not. Uh, yes, uh, Adam Sandler, who's giving a performance that I would imagine seeing Al Pacino do sometime in the 1970s. Uh, he plays a jeweler uh, in New York who's a very annoying loser. I was... Such, I was so frustrated watching this film and on the edge of my seat in so many interactions. But he, he's the type of, he's a hustler. Uh, and he has, he has acquired what's called a black, a black opal, I believe, um, that he's purchased illegally. It arrives in the gut of a fish uh, at his uh, storefront uh, that he is trying to sell at an auction uh, because he believes it's, based on the gemstones that are in this uncut piece of rock uh, worth a million dollars. Uh, so he gets it, uh, but he is unable to help himself from bragging about it. And it arrives when uh, this basketball player, I'm not good with Kevin that. Garnett. Kevin Garnett. Kevin Garnett sees it. He has a connection to it, like an ancestral connection. He's like, I got to borrow it. I got to borrow this. And he's like, but I want to buy it. And he's like, you can't buy it because it's, uh, it's set for auction. But you, he lets him stupidly borrow it and then has trouble getting it back. Uh, oh. And then there's just a, a ripple effect of all kind. It's just a huge clusterfuck shit show. Uh, and at the same time, his personal life is in a mess. He's married to uh, Adina Menzel, Ugh. who I think is kind of entertaining uh, as his uh, very Jewish wife. And they have two children together, but he's taken an apartment where he is um, living or staying out with uh, this young white girl who also works for him. But they're... And, oh, and it's set uh, in 2012, 2013. So there's also a weird scenario. He has a falling out with a girlfriend because they go to a performance to see The Weeknd. And she ends up doing something with The Weeknd in the bathroom. He's in the film. And there's a falling out there. Uh, meanwhile, these gangsters are trying to recoup money that Adam Sandler owes them because he has a gambling problem. His performance, it is a very committed dare I say, excellent performance from Adam Sandler. Okay, I'm not mad. Uh, but you will be so frustrated watching it. Uh, Lakeith Stanfield is also very good as... Who's that? Uh, you would recognize him from Get Out. He's the one that says the name of the film. That's dressed up in all the, the white people clothes that's with that old white lady in Get Out. He's the first, he's abducted in the beginning of Get Out. Oh my god, my brain just fried. I'll look it You've up. You've seen him in a ton of things. Okay. Um, so Adam Sandler's character wants to be a success. Howard, yes. D is he successful? Almost. Oh no. It almost all works out for him. <laughs> does he get his rock back? He does get the rock back. But then it's, but then it's reappraised by someone and um, for le much less money than he thinks it's worth. And Oh, and Judd Hirsch plays his father. And... Um, Eric Bogosian from, is it, was it that movie Talk Radio? Like all of these people um, make appearances that you haven't seen for a while. And uh, I don't know. I, I, the Safties is are. Is it very, a black comedy? Yeah, yeah. Okay. They call it a crime comedy. Oh, it's crime a, comedy. It's a black comedy. Okay. Uh, the Safties are very good at showing kind of like these intersections of ur urban realities, if you will, that are um, uh, quite astute. Um, so yeah. you would give this four out of five? Yeah, this is a four out of five film. Um, wow. I think you'll be entertained. Okay. Yeah. I'm into it. 
All right, bye. Bye.